Hello and welcome to video tutorial number 11 of how to make an online shop with Dreamware and PHP. We will continue now with the administration and now what I'd like to show you is how to get the Dreamware to do all these things in a faster way. I'd like to do it well, in fact, I like doing it the slow way because I understand that it's the easiest way to understand it. But now we will do it the other way so that you know both, day, both, both ways. In any case, I used to do it the slow way, but it's just that everything in life, if you do it a hundred times, it ends up being quite fast too. Anyway, let's remember that we have products, categories, and users. So, let's make a new section for users in the administration section. To do so, we go to the left menu, and uh, we hide around here, let's see. Templates. I can't remember what it was exactly, but I'm gonna check it. Includes heading admin. Okay, here it is. Includes heading admin. Right. So let's make a new one, a new line that will be users list. Users list and users list. We save. And now we already have this here. When I hit it, we will get an error message because we haven't got included anything yet. Next thing will be creating a copy page of index, and we will name it users list. Sorry, users list. Here it is. Uh, I don't remember if I linked properly. I'm gonna check users list. Yeah, right. Now. Now we open the file we've just created, users list, and we do as always. Change the heading to users list, and we delete this thing below. Next thing would be, as in previous videos, create a query, a record set, an edit button, etc. We're going to see a, a way of doing it with Dreamweaver, which is much faster and in some occasions can be handy. It's done as follows. We go to Insert, Data Objects, and we will look for a section called Master Detail Page Set. What does it mean, Master Detail? It basically means that there are two pages. In the Master, there is the list of things with a series of fields we will indicate, and in the Detail, we find the rest of fields we have selected. Basically, what we have been doing with the categories and the product stuff. For example, uh, for example, this product list page would be a master page, and and the edit product or visualization page would be a detail page for us to more or less understand the idea. So we insert data objects, master detail page set. Here, the first thing it says is before inserting this object, do this: create a record set. Okay, we will do it. We click create a record set. And we will name it. Let's call a spade a spade and call it user data connection shoes. Perfect. We'll open, take me all the users out, order by name, for example, in ascendant order from A to Z. There we have the query. We accept here and we start. Record set, the one we have just created, master page fields. I'm just gonna use name to call it or I will even use the ID and the name and I will delete the email and the status off they go link with detail from ID user it will ask us with which of these two fields we left here are we going to click to see the user's details I will leave ID user selected and the exclusive key I will pass is the field that differentiates one field from the other which in this case apart from the email would also be the ID as you remember, when we defined the, the databases, it was an autonomic value we couldn't even manipulate up to a certain point, as it comprehends from zero to infinite. We display all the registers and name of the detail page. We will call it um, users data PHP. And and. 
and inside the detail page we will leave in all except well or with just the ID and that's it as you want uh, we accept and you see it carries out some operations it has just created us up here two labels users list and users data you can use it here here it automatically creates a table we haven't made any code yet but let's do something I'm going to save and let's see how does this all look like users list and well the problem is that they haven't created any users so far so there are no users here but the idea is the user would appear here let's modify this a little so that it looks better here instead of user ID we will write ID we leave just name and when I click here we get the other page which in this case is users data and we will get the rest of data it's making the query select from the table user when the user is the one I'm sending you by parameter etc so as you can see it makes our duty quite easy in this case we're not going to use the page in fact I don't use it because usually you want to modify the data as well as watching them and this is just to see them so we close this without saving but I will leave this open now now we will add this table to our own design so we will open products list which is the one that looks better here I will pick the class main table and the border cell spacing and cell padding equal to zero so we come to this table and cell spacing cell padding all equal to zero and the class we can choose here and I don't remember which one was it main table okay but watch out this was in the TR let's put it here which is where it should go and the next thing is the glow glass inside the resource table this is the first page on the resource table here it is now it looks a little tidier now we save and oops yeah. okay it appears everything together we still haven't got let's do something if you want we're going to create the insert data section although here the data insertion is done by the user in the page so here we will see users when they register in the page that's the idea I would add one more field table insert lines or columns insert the column behind the selected one and I would write here actions and here I would add the edit delete option let's let's stretch this so that it appears in a single line right that's it and let's do something as we haven't done the front end of the page yet we're going to open the database straight away with Navicat and we're going to enter some data by hand so I go to localhost to my shoe shop user and I'm going to enter a new user the hard way for you to see it can be done name for example mm, Pepe Luis email ppl at gmail.com and the status is one because it's active so we've already created the user now let's see if it appears here there it is and if we click here you see it will take us to users data now we will give us an error because we haven't created the target page yet and it remains here thinking but basically I haven't saved yet so I'm, I'm doing it now now we see the edit delete thing there it is and it's much nicer now and here we have the total number of registers user we can even paginate it if we want I invite you to try this a little because it's quite interesting and I think it can be handy for you to know it what I'm doing here is that I realized yellow color wasn't right so now it works as before only only the TD got yellow shine I know it's the whole line okay so now I invite you to try and add the edit delete option to yours I'm leaving that for the final part because in real life when the client asks you a new page he may say no I just want to have the usual thing the name surname and so on uh, that makes seven or eight fields and when the page is working two weeks later he tells you no I, I want to include sex age birth date and second email just in case 
so all this would change and not being necessary to reprogram it we would need to modify many things and and sometimes it's not a good idea because it complicates the things and, and so on so I prefer to leave that for the end in fact we will leave that for the end and we'll move on so as you can see this chapter 11 has been quite short uh, thanks a lot for the comments you're leaving me they encourage me a lot to go on and well next thing we will see in this video tutorials will be the creation of the front end page of our shop which i guess is what you all, what you all are expecting to do let's call it the the shop window so we will open a template with dreamweaver and step by step we will see what we get okay so uh, many thanks and regards